My name is Ed Fassel. I'm the manager of Laser Pacific's Digital Sound Services Department. We're a uh, post-production audio facility here in Hollywood, uh, specializing in uh, episodic television, more so some feature film work. Uh, we do everything from small documentaries, uh, uh, DVD commentary, uh, some uh, audio conform work, do a lot of things uh, at this facility. And uh, right now we're sitting in stage C. Uh, stage C is where we do all of our final mixes. Uh, we'll do 5.1 surround, stereo mixes as well. We do them all in, uh, in this room. So this is where we do uh, this work. Um, uh, we've been here since 1989. Uh, started out with a series called The Wonder Years, was I think the first uh, thing that came through this facility. And uh, right now we're currently involved in a couple of episodic series, Charmed, Seventh Heaven, uh, That's So Raven, uh, several series that we do work on uh, every week. So it uh, keeps us busy. And then we also have some small feature films that come and go uh, throughout the, uh, the television series and sometimes in the off off time this summer. I've been in this business for just a little over 20 years. Uh, started out uh, a long time ago in uh, basically in a vault shipping receiving type environment. Uh, I was going to college majoring in telecommunications. Uh, was taking uh, actually radio courses, radio and television courses, and uh, had a friend who had recently left Universal Pictures. Uh, his name was Jim Troutman. He was a sound editor on the uh, first Jaws film, is what he had finished up at that time. Uh, Jaws and uh, was going on to a couple other films. He left, started his own company, and uh, asked uh, what I was doing. And I just said, hey, I was going to college and had an interest in it, and uh, asked if I wanted to come down and see what goes on in a post-production studio and uh, went down, hung around, and I was lucky to be at a company that was very small, basically a mom and pa shop kind of thing, and uh, they grew very fast, very, very fast, and uh, I was around and got to grow with them, and, uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's been good. Here at our facility, uh, we have, uh, there are several different levels of, of jobs. Uh, there are uh, the sound assistants, uh, all of which are very important. Uh, but the sound assistants basically take audio that comes into the facility, both audio and video. We can get it from many different sources. We could get things from HD cams, D5s, DVDs, digital beta cams. We can get audio from uh, files from workstations, such as Avid, Final Cut Pros, uh, Pro Tools sessions. Uh, we work on Waveframe platform as well. Uh, audio can come in on CD, cassettes, stats, all kinds of different sources. The assistants will build the tracks and uh, basically prep things for the sound editors. Sound editors uh, basically do uh, cleaning up, do as much organization of the tracks to prepare them for the actual mix. And the mix sessions are what go on in this room. Uh, the sound mix itself basically takes all of the elements that the editors prepare and get it ready for its final destination, whether it be a feature film on a big screen, whether it's a uh, episodic show broadcast, uh, or whether it's uh, internet content that they may have to be uh, ready for. But basically, you'll have assistants, uh, then the editors, and then the mixers themselves that do the work. And uh, you know, even within the function of editor, uh, there are some editors that specialize in dialogue work, cleaning up, restoration of uh, dialogue. Comes from different, whether it's exterior, interior, different sources, preparing the tracks. Uh, there are sound designers, sound editors it's, uh, that specialize in designing sound effects and uh, creating ambiences and uh, uh, basically creating sound effects that match visuals. Uh, so we have guys that do that work themselves. So there are people that do different facets here in the, in the building. A lot of the people that have come to us uh, looking for 